that time of the day where we bring you the most trending entertainment news on our daily top 10 brought to you by your favorite entertainment channel 9GZ Extreme. Holding down the number 10 spot, Lil Wayne earns 22 new RIA certifications. Amidst his 40th birthday celebration, the Recording Industry Association of America, RIA, has granted 22 new platinum certifications to American rappers, singer, songwriter, and record executive Dwayne Michael Cater Jr., popularly known with his stage name Lil Wayne. The new platinum plaque spans across his entire music career so far to include three of his albums and some of his most successful singles like Six Foot Seven Foot Love Me featuring Drake and feature How to Love, Write About It with Drake, Drop the World featuring Eminem, Mirror with Bruno Mars and many more. Everything happening today You don't know whether you're coming or going But you think that you're on your way Life lined up on the mirror, don't blow it Whoa. Look at me when I'm talking to you You looking at me but I'm looking through you I see the blood in your eyes I see the love in disguise I see the pain hidden in your pride you're not satisfied And I don't see nobody else I see myself I'm looking at the Mirror on the wall Here we are again yeah. Through my rise and fall uh, You've been my only friend yeah. You told me that they can Understand the man I am So where are we here Talking to each other See the truth in your lies. On the number nine sport, Fowles reacts to news of NDLEA destroying had substance worth billions of naira. Nigerian singer, songwriter, and actor Folari Falona, better known as Fowles, has taken to his social media platforms to express his disappointment and displeasure over the news of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA burning down 1.8 tons of cocaine that is worth 149 billion naira that was recently recovered covered in a warehouse somewhere in Ikorudu axis of Lagos. Reacting to the news, Files wrote, This administration must really think we are daft, Shah. What is this lamba that the NDLE is given with this cocaine seizure saga? Then they burn evidence. She be not passing when not they look good or they fall down with it. I shall be in with it. Number 8 Sport Babai Jisha pleads for mercy over his deteriorating health. You will recall that on the 14th of July 2022, Nollywood actor and skit maker Laru Aju James, known as Babai Jisha, was found guilty of sexual assault and later sentenced to 16 years in prison after going through a rape trial that lasted for about 12 months. While a video making the rounds on social media shows the embattled actor in a hospital bed looking sick with claims that he neither sleeps nor itch. In his words, I'm battling a very serious and deadly ailment here in prison, which is deteriorating my health. Please, I need help. I don't sleep or eat anymore. I don't want to die here. End of quote. Holding down the number seven spot, it's easier when you find someone who has gone ahead of you. MC Lively, Nigerian comedian and actor Michael Sani Amanasia, also known as MC Lively, recently shared in an interview his struggles with his profession as a lawyer and his passion as a comedian. He says, I love law so much and I excel at it, but there is such a struggle between what one does in school and what obtains in real life. He added, when you want to do something, it's easier when there is someone who has done the same thing and I'm usually like, Falls the bad guy also studied law. I just want to say thank you, boss. He is one of my greatest inspiration and mentors. End of go. At number six, Bono 
Burna Boy releases music video for his hit single, It's Plenty. It is always really exciting to see constant growth and intentional work put out by our Nigerian creators in the various craft for the eventual good of the society they represent. This is the case of Nigerian singer, songwriter and record producer Burna Boy, who has over time proven to be the African giant indeed as he has dropped his music video for his hit single, It's Plenty. The video is all shades of colors, good vibes and and good energy, more like a carnival of people who just want to pate and have some fun. Number 5. One Degree Hotter DJ Kupi London-based Nigerian disc jockey and producer Florence Otedola, popularly known as DJ Kupi, is now a graduate of the University of Oxford. The disc jockey who underwent her master's program in African studies took to her Twitter handle to announce that she's finally graduating after experiencing a tough academic year. I got my thesis result which classifies MSc degree. I didn't get a merit or a distinction but I Past. Well, such level of honesty, chest to more wings. Yeah, they hate, but they broke them. And when it's time to pop, they had no shit. Yeah, I'm pretty, but I'm low. At number four, Toby Amusa recounts early struggles as a young athlete. Nigerian track and field athlete Olua Toby Loba Toby Amusa, who currently wears the crown as the world Commonwealth and African champion in the 100 meter huddles, has shared her early experiences and struggles that involved around self, family, and the society. According to the world champion, there is a lot to learn from the working system in the United States, which promotes the growth of sports. You will recall that. She recently shared the story of how she had to sign in for a $50,000 loan to aid her preparation for the World Athletics Championships. You go, girl. And number three, Love Your Stars Today, Emeka Ike. In a recent tribute to celebrities, Nigeria's evergreen actor Emeka Ike recently took to his Instagram page to speak on behalf of every celebrity in an emotional post that hits different as it's accompanied by a video that shows the life of popular child actor Gary Coleman who passed on over a decade ago. In a caption where he also disclosed that he lost his 450 million naira asset sitting on the number two spot, this is not goodbye. It is the start of another journey. Mikkel Obi, of course, is not goodbye. Nigerian former professional footballer Mikkel John Obi has announced his retirement from professional football in a long appreciation post on his Instagram handle. There is a saying that all good things must come to an end. And for my professional football career, that day is today, he said. Reflecting on the past 20 years of a successful career, playing locally and internationally, he further went on to thank everyone that has been on the journey with him and encouraged everyone to keep pushing and never quit. This is not goodbye. It is the start of another journey, another chapter of my life. I look forward to what the future holds and I hope you'll walk with me. Yes, we will. Wishing him the very best. And at number one, Simi teases the release of a new song. One of Nigeria's most successful singers, songwriter and actor, Simi, who is known for making songs that don't necessarily match trends, has teased fans with a possible new song sooner than we imagined. In her most recent post on her verified Instagram handle, the song stress and what seems to be a preview of the song also had Efe Zino do the dance with her. In a caption, the accomplice video, she wrote, I wrote this song a few days ago 
girl and I'm obsessed. Make I drop them. Hashtag Komaga. Anything from Simi, of course, you know, is everything. We have now come to the end of today's edition of our daily top 10. For more updates, follow us on all our social media platforms at Nigezi Extreme. Thank you for staying tuned and bye for now. Joromi, Joromi, I want you to love me. Joromi, baby.